Hello and welcome to our project capstone by Kate Campbell and Shana Dumont. Our capstone is Harbor. So today we will be introducing the website that we have worked on the past quarter. Um, so our brief is that we were supposed to design and code a website for the launch of Harbor. What is Harbor? Harbor is a brand new international festival of theater in Red Ruth, UK, created by The Ladder. Celebrating stories of migration and sanctuary, it will showcase performances at venues across the town, which celebrate the stories of sanctuary and the journeys that brought people to Cornwall. Who is The Ladder? The Ladder is a creative space for Red Ruth in Cornwall, co-founded by Josh and Felix. The latter includes spaces for creatives to work, including studios and co-working, but also for community events and activities, including dance classes, children and young people activities, fitness and music. Every two years, all of our residents will come together as part of a festival, which is Harbor. So starting with the site map, we have a home section, an artist section, a program section, an about section, and an FAQ section. We also have a get involved button that is permanently on each page. Uh, through here, you can see where each page has a link to things. Um, on the artist page, there are icons that lead to individual artist page. And from there, you can get their uh, ticketing site and you can get the artist's own individual site. Um, on the program, we have calendar days, which you can click, and it'll take you to the individual day schedule. From there, you can click on individual events, and then from those individual events, you will see the individual artist and event page. You can also buy tickets on these sites as well. Um, we have a FAQ page for getting questions and answers. We have an about page for information on Harbor and Ladder, um, and we also have the story. So for our design basis, we were supposed to create a design based on the poster samples given to us. You can see all six here. Um, the characters, the ox, fox, and badger. The ox, fox, and badger can be seen here. Um, and I also got some inspiration from uh, some other festival websites like Day In, Day Out, Phillips Backyard. And to finalize the design colors, um, we made a chart of all of the color palettes based on each poster that we were given by their artist, Heba. Um, Felix and Josh decided to go with poster one. So we went with some nice neon colors. So this was the first sketch that was made of the site. Um, we wanted bright colors, fun vibe, wacky graphic decorations, and funky typography. So. The main design tools used were Figma. Figma was used because it has many UX UI design tools to help with wireframes. It has an unlimited workspace. It's great for collaboration and comments with the team. And it can export page designs and variables individually. And it's very common for web design. These were the first home design sketches that we came out with. Some had some stars and then others just had circular uh, images for the artists. This was the winning design. So we decided to base everything off of this one page. Uh, some other page designs. We had the artist page are about the artist page and about the event page, the long events page, the who we are page, and the FAQ page. Now we're going to show the actual website. This is our finished product Harbor website. This is going to be the landing. The top is a home page. You can see we have this nice animation here that was created by Minnie, and it's just a little teaser about the Harbor Festival to come. We've got our headline here as well, and then a, a link to the outside ticket source off Cornwall. 
We have a couple of our feature images, the fox, the badger, and the ox, and some information about the festival. We've got our featured blobs, as well as our featured artist. And there's five featured artists at this time. This link will take you to the artist page, which we'll go to in a second. And then the bottom of the page is a link to the about page, as well as some contact information and the get involved link. So first, we can either get to the artist page by choosing explore more artists, or we can choose artists here at the top of the menu. When we get to the artist page, we can see again that we're using the images of the badger, the fox, and the ox as well as the similar style typography. Each artist is featured with an image and text. The image and the text link to the information page about the event or the artist. We have the title of the event, as well as who is performing, where it's performing, and a little brief introduction about the event. This link here will take you to an outside source about the specific artist. We have our link to tickets. We have our varying ticketed prices and then a map of the location. In addition to the artist page, we also have the program page. The events page starts with a calendar and a brief introduction about how they'll be selling tickets. Each day is linked to a different section on the calendar. When you get to your section, they're broken down into the first weekend, Monday to Thursday, and then the last weekend. For dates that don't have any events yet, we have a nice coming soon link. For dates that do have events, you can see that an artist is listed here, and when you hover over it, the text changes to indicate that it's a link. This link will take you to the artist page, and from that page, once again, we can see the show title, the artist's name, and the location and date, as well as a brief description. And that is what the program page looks like. As you scroll down, you can see we're continuing to use the blobs and the images of the animals. And we also have the outside ticketing links. Here's an example of a more full page. Again, we have the footer at the bottom of the page. In addition to those pages, we also have the about page. On the about page, we have our information about what the ladder is and their background story about Felix and Josh. Again, we're using this really fun typography and our images of animals to follow through with the entire style of the website. And then we have our residency information listed. Um, so just some groups that are working with the ladder through collaborative efforts, they're highlighted here as an additional spot um, with a brief description about what the organization or group is all about. Um, the last page that we have is an FAQ page. On this FAQ page, you can see there's questions, common questions listed here. All you have to do is click on the question and then down pops the answer. You can also click on the arrow. You can see the arrow is animated, so the arrow moves with it. You can open multiple questions, you can close questions, questions with multiple answers are listed like this. And then that's it. There's one or two more pages. We have a get involved page for when people are ready to get involved. It's the same information as the FAQ page. And then we have an oops page. And so that's the end of our website for the Harbor website. And we're looking forward to hearing more about the festival. We chose to use Grav CMS to make the back end for the company so that they could modify the website in the future as more events were added or more artists were added to the lineup. We chose Grav because it is a pretty straightforward CMS. It's very flat and it allows a lot of customizability, but it doesn't require a database. So that made it very versatile and easy to host. We chose to go with a pre-made theme, Oxygen. 
The oxygen theme was the parent theme that we started with because it shared some initial similarities to what we thought we would be going for in the design. What ended up happening is that several significant modifications had to be made in order to accomplish what we were looking for. Um, I uncovered some challenges with the file structure. There was a lot of repetition in naming conventions. I also didn't have any experience connecting Markdown and Twig files to HTML, HTML. So I had to spend some time getting to know that. And then there was a, just a lot of CSS that had to be sifted through. Some of the adjustments totaled in over 4,000 lines of CSS. Um, eventually, I was able to successfully connect the Markdown and the Twig files to create some fully customizable web pages that are easily adjusted and edited from the CMS side. We chose to also make this website mobile friendly because the idea is that this will be a frequently used website to address questions during the festival. So you can see there's some screenshots of what the mobile looks like here on the right. And then, yeah, I felt like the project turned out exactly how I was hoping it would. And although there were some challenges and it took some significant learning to accomplish what we were working for, I think that overall, Working with Shana and Felix and Josh has been like a very rewarding experience. And I feel like I've gained a lot of skills through this project that I'll be able to carry forward in the future um, when doing similar work. And I'm really grateful for the experience to be able to have designed a website like this for such a creative team. Not only did this work feel meaningful and great for experience, it felt fun. Uh, Josh, Josh and Felix were lovely to work with and were very supportive till the end. Um, and Kate has been such an amazing partner since I met her in CS202. I've loved working with her and collaborating off of each other's ideas. And I'm fully satisfied with this experience. And I can't wait to see how the festival turns out. Thank you. Thank you.